Hi, this is JB from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another uh, The Return to the Circle Undone playthrough with Wendy Adams, and we are already at the uh, for the greater good scenario. Uh, again, I only had two experience uh, from last scenario, so the only upgrade to the deck is to upgrade the other Alter Fate level one to level three. So I won't be putting the deck list up under the, under the screen uh, this time either, but I will add the uh, link to the video description for the deck list if you want to check it out. So um, let's talk about the return to version of the Greater Good uh, a bit. So there basically is only a couple of cards added. There are a few alternate locations, nothing major. So there shouldn't be that many things changing in this scenario. Of course, there are uh, two new encounter sets that have been uh, replaced or, or will replace the uh, vanilla versions. So that might change the scenario up a bit, but I think that is just a minor uh, change. So this should be pretty familiar. Um, uh, well, let's see. Yeah, there, there isn't that much to talk about, so I think we are ready to begin. So, um, yeah, um, just to mention, we have the Hero Pant uh, card up uh, positioned in this scenario, so every willpower test we perform each turn uh, will or each round will get plus one willpower. So that is a big help for this scenario, in my opinion. But we'll see how this goes, so let's get started. We have three shuffle of the deck, so let's draw our opening hand. We get a test of wheel, or gearing, backstab, the curious and track shoe, so I'm keeping the whole hand. We have something to investigate with, and uh, we have the track shoes, which are really good. So we'll keep everything, no need to mulligan. So, first action, I'll play Old Keyring. Second action, I'll play Track shoes. We are getting really lucky in this campaign with the track shoes. I think we have played it uh, first turn or pretty early on in every scenario so far, and it is a really good card for Wendy. Uh, last action, we are just investigating without committing anything. So, investigating 3 versus 2. It is a plus 1, so we'll grab this clue, and next turn we can move into the lodge. And uh, because we are enemies of the lodge, we have the members in only sides showing. So uh, we can't go into the lobby, we have to go through the lodge cellar, but that is that. So uh, we'll go to upkeep, we draw a card, <laughs> article phobia, phobia, of course, and one resource. So I think we'll just get rid of that and move in next turn. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a doom, one of eight, and counter card for this turn is Acolyte. This will be pretty annoying. Uh, we don't have great ways to de uh, deal with this. Well, we have the backstab and waylays. But I think we'll put it in the lobby. We might just uh, backstab it. Uh, not next, but the turn after. So... He's there. And that is it. So first two actions is to uh, get rid of this one. Next we will uh, spend one clues per investigator as group. And we will move in. So, uh, lots Gates gains action. Investigators at the Lodge Gates spend one clues as a group, reveal the Lodge Cellar. So we don't even move in yet, we just reveal it. 
And that is our turn. No enemy actions, we'll go to upkeep, we get perception, and we gain one wisdom. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We had a doom, encounter Cardis. <laughs> these are the order. Okay, we'll uh, forget about the other, the acolyte, we need to definitely kill this one. So it comes into play, I'll just put it into the slot cellar. And uh, just a moment. So, uh, forced when you defeat a silver twilight enemy, you leave behind some evidence of the scuffle. Move one doom of, from each of the, each enemy at that location to the current agenda. Those are not silver twilight lodge enemies, so that is helpful. Activate an enemy, remove all doom from it. Okay, so we could just uh, evade the acolyte and forget about it. That's a good plan. Okay. Uh, first action will move in. This engages us. Second action we will backstab. Oh yeah, it gets one doom at the end of the middle space. So we backstab. Uh, we are fighting with five versus four. I think I want to be sure, so I'll commit the unexpected curse. So seven versus four. Minus two, so good thing we committed. So we deal three damage to this enemy, and it is defeated, and we move. And uh, last action. We'll move in. We'll use the track shoes to move again, so we don't engage this enemy. One clue here. Uh, Traxus, uh, we are five versus three. Trying to move to the launch. Auto fail. I think I'll start perception to redraw. We want to, yeah. It is a zero, so we pass and we'll move to the lodge. So, force after lodge is revealed, put the set aside vault and library locations into play. Action: Investigators at the lounge spend one clues as a group. Put the set aside hidden passage bay locations into play. Okay. Two clues here, bow shroud, liking that. So uh, we get a vault and library locations. So we have the library and vaults. Some new locations here, so those are basically the new thing in this one. So this is a new location. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, uh, the lobby is revealed. We put one random set aside key on it. Forgot about that, so we'll do that get back to the key soon enough. It is the skull key. And uh, okay. Just checking did the old launch do okay so it is either this or the, that one so we are not getting the August linguist assets. Well, that might be interesting. So we get the library and we get the vault. Uh, the vault needs the uh, elder thing to uh, key and we can move into the library. But yeah, that is our turn. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw a letter code, we gain one resource. That is that turn. 
let's go to the next turn. We are a doom. Uh, 4 of 8 encounter card for this turn is uh, Mysteries of the Lodge. Place one doom on the nearest cultist enemy. Then, until the end of the round, increase the difficulty of the fight, evade, or ally with that enemy by 2. No doom is placed by this effect. Back this can search, so we add one doom here. Okay. So, first action we will investigate. Uh, I'll just investigate 3 versus 2. Plus 1, uh, we get 1 blue. And uh, I'll do the action to spend this clue to get the hidden passageway here. Because why not? It's a new thing. So, let's see. Hidden passage passageway. When you enter hidden passageway, test agility 3. If you fail, place one room on the nearest call this enemy at the, as they hear you shifting the bookcase. Well, we are going to go and investigate that in passageway. So, last action, let's move in here. So we are testing uh, agility 3, so we are 5 versus 3. It is the Elder Sign, which is a 0, because we don't have the amulet in play, but that is enough. Uh, relic stor storage. 5 route 1 clue. While an investigator controls the skull key, relic storage is connected to lodge catacombs and vice versa. Force after the relic storage is revealed, place one random set aside key on it. So this is actually interesting. Uh, we get a passageway to the catacombs. It's really interesting. And we have the coldest key here. One clue. And uh, I'll use the track shoes to quickly move back. Uh, we want to go get the uh, skull key before we come here. So, uh, five versus three. Trying to move back to the launch. Uh, minus two, we are successful, so we'll go here. That is our turn. No enemy actions. We've got upkeep, waylay, and one resource. And. Uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We are at five, uh, six of eight doom. And counter card for this turn is uh, Knight of the Order. Any location connected to yours? Hmm. Interesting. I think we put it into the vault. So this is the prey most keys controlled alert aloof hunter after you enter. Uh, enter Knight of the Inner Circle's location, or vice versa, test uh, Agility 4, if you fail, Knight of the Inner Circle engages you, so we have a chance to avoid this guy, that is okay. So we'll put it in the vault. Next up, um, first action, I think we'll just investigate, uh, let's think. So uh, we move in, evade, investigate, and move in, evade, investigate. Or that that is three actions. Can we get the la launch? If we investigate now. We could move into the lobby, evade. And that is the turn. Next turn, evade, investigate, move, double move. Okay, that, that could work. Yeah, I think that is a plan, so we will investigate here. Uh, three, ver uh, three versus... Three versus two... And uh, yeah, three versus two. I don't have anything to commit. I could use the key ring. Actually, I'll use the key ring. No, let's save the key ring. Uh, we need it to the relic storage. 
so um no only the auto fail fails us now so I'm gonna try this so minus three it doesn't matter if we don't fail we get the clue second action we'll move here uh we'll evade this guy engages us so evading Uh, 5 versus 2. It is uh, minus 2, so we succeed. So, um, after you evade an enemy, remove all doom from it. So, we remove 2 doom from this guy. He's evaded, but uh, that is the end of the turn. Uh, we engage us at the end of the enemy phase. This hunts here. Now, uh, we'll go to upkeep. We draw a card, Alder Fate, Kill Me the Source, that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 5, Doom of 8, Encounter card for this turn is Mysterious Chanting, place 2 Doom on the nearest cultist enemy. There are no cultist enemies in play, so it's Encounter deck and Discord pile for cultist enemy and droids. We'll place 2 Doom on this cultist enemy. We are evading and removing those Doom, so why not? First action, Evade. 5 versus 3 plus 1 we remove those two second action uh, we'll investigate using the old key just investigate 3 versus I'll commit so 4 versus 3 minus 1 we get the clue we get the key Best keys here. Last action will move. Use the uh, track shoes to double move. Uh, 5 versus 3. Minus 1. We'll move here. Now we have the skull key, so we have the passage to lodge catacombs. Uh, that is our turn. Uh, this guy hunts here. It enters our location so we will test uh, 5 versus 4 it is a 0 so we pass because we don't have any uh, doom on any cultist enemies so it doesn't engage us it's just a loop there that is really good uh, we'll go to upkeep we draw a card all key ring and we gain one risk so that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 6 Doom of 8 Encounter card is an Acolyte. We could uh, move into the Catacombs, well, investigate, get this clue, move to the Catacombs. Investigate, move, evade, next turn, evade, save us a, as a turn, lose some actions. I think we just uh, put this guy to the lot seller, forget about it. Okay, or, or let's just put it at the lodge gates, we are never going back there. Okay. Oh, enemies cannot spawn at the lodge gates, sorry. Put it at the lodge cellar. Okay, and... Uh, first action. We will investigate, I will commit... Uh, Oh, I won't commit anything, I'll just use the old key ring. Uh, investigating 3 versus 3. Uh, let's, on second thought, we have one doom, so let's commit the old key ring. So, 4 versus 3. Auto fail. <laughs> mm, discard letter, code to draw again. Let's 
goal is a minus one, we succeed, we'll grab this crew and this key. Second action, we'll move to Lot's catacombs. The door to the catacombs is locked. You cannot enter the Lot's catacombs unless you, uh, you control at least one of these keys. We have two, so no problem. Uh, fourth route, zero clues. Fourth, when the Lot's catacombs is revealed, Set aside inner sanctum and each of the set aside sanctum doorway locations to play. Okay, we have uh, three sanctum doorway locations and inner sanctum. Uh, I'll place them like so. Some connection markers. Uh, we have the cultist key so we can move into the inner sanctum. No problem. Okay, and uh, last action. Mm, let's check out one of these rooms because this guy's coming after us. So We'll move to the Sanctum Doorway number one here and uh, Shrouded Archive. Then. A new location, choose a key on a card and test uh, willpower or intellect 8. Reduce the difficulty of this test by one for each silver final enemy in play. If you succeed, swap the chosen key with another key in play. I think we are never doing that. Okay, so that is a useless location for us. No more actions. Uh, we'll actually we'll use the track shoes to move back because why not? No, we don't even do that. And yeah, this this should be discarded. Use it at the relic storage. Enemy base, this guy moves to the lodge, actually. This guy doesn't control our key, so it can't move from here. So it moves back here. So we actually lost the tail with the Knight of the Inner Circle, which is really <laughs> interesting. We have plenty of time now here. Uh, no more enemy actions, we go to upkeep, Faustian bargain and gain one to source. Uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at seven. Uh, actually, we are on an eight of eight tomb. So, actually, uh, at the end of the last round, let's do the advancement. So, we'll spend the two clues before we do anything else here. So, uh, we'll spend this. So. The inner sanctum is not in play, but in place. Bond set aside Nathan, weak enemy in the inner sanctum. So get the Nathan weak. Master of indoctrination. Side up. But that's the set aside puzzle box there. But the remainder of the game, the current act gains action after you evade an enemy with a wall doom from it. Place this card next to the act deck as a reminder, then advance to act 2a. Act 2a. If Nathan Wick is added to the victory display by any means, choose an investigator to take control of the attached puzzle box and advance. Okay, so Nathan Wick is in the inner sanction, so we are probably heading there. So. Nathan Wick reads, after you evade Nathan Wick by three or more, you will steal the puzzle box, add Nathan Wick to the victory display. So if you try to go and evade Nathan this turn. Okay, then we advance. Okay, discard the top five cards of the encounter deck. In play order, each investigator must draw a cultist enemy discarded display. So one, two, three, four, five. Zero cultist enemies 
scored, so we got lucky. Well, we have enough uh, enemies in play already, so that is maybe a good thing. Now we have 10 turns left. Each Silver Twilight enemy in a Sanctum location loses a loot. Post when you defeat a Silver Twilight enemy, you leave behind some evidence of the scuffle. Move one Doom from each enemy at that location to the current agenda. So we just won't defeat anyone. Simple as that. Encounter card for this turn is. Uh, impeding evils. Peril revelation. You must either take one damage and one horror or put in between. Well, just take one damage and one horror. First action. Move. Use track shoes to move again. 5 versus 3. Minus 2 is enough. I will move into the inner sanctum because we have the cultist key. Nathan Wick engages us. Uh, oh, yeah. Here. Uh, we place one random set outside key on it. So we got the Elder Thing token. After the Innocent uh, yeah, Four Shroud, one clue. Second action, we will evade Nathan Wick. I will commit the waylay into the skill test. We are uh, 7 versus 3. We need to succeed by 3 or more. Minus 1. Uh, this guy is defeated and goes to the, into the victory display. We get the puzzle box. And uh, we advance. Nathan Wick is added to the victory display. By any means, choose an investigator to take control of the puzzle box and advance. Wait a minute. Yeah, nothing. The four keys. The device needs four keys. So, in, if investigator at the same location controls the puzzle box, the, all the keys and uh, all the four keys then advance so we need to get all of the keys so first off we need to get this key then we need to find the last key from somewhere possibly from here hopefully so last action we will let's see There's no action on the puzzle box at the moment, so we'll draw a card. Unexpected courage will help us next turn to try and get this key from here. No more uh, actions, upkeep. No enemy. Oh yeah, enemy actions. This guy moves here. Uh, this room is gone. So we draw a card. Fraxus gave a resource. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We had a doom. Encounter card for this turn is uh, test agility 5 for each point you fail by discarding the top card of the encounter deck. If it occurs, treachery is discarded by this effect. Deal one direct horror to your investigator and to each of your ally assets. Just test this. Might as well commit to this attraction. Well, if we can take the horror. Uh, it is a zero. We pass, so nothing happens. First action, we will investigate, committing unexpected courage and forced in bargain. So we are up by two. Elder sign zero. So we grab this clue, grab this key. Second action, we'll move to the lodge catacombs. We'll use the uh, track shoes to move again. 5 versus 3. Uh, minus 3, if you fail, place one doom on the nearest cultist enemy. Damn. I'll actually discard the track shoes to draw again. Oh, 
Five versus three. Plus one. Pass. Uh, we'll move to this one. Uh, Pause. When you're the round ends, each investigator and each ally asset in the ceremony room takes one direct or cancel the effects if an investigator in the ceremony room controls the skull key. So this is a victory point location, so uh, we could try to get these clues, but we are running out of steam in investigating, so maybe we'll see if the last door has the last key we need. But uh, we'll go to the enemy phase, this guy moves here, up. Oh, oh yeah, last turn. Actually, we have one action left, so... Let's try and investigate. There's no harm in it, so last action will investigate. Uh, three versus three. It is an auto fail, so no. Okay, so now that guy moves, upkeep, we draw a card. Alter fate, level three. One resource, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a Doom, 2 of 10, and count card for this turn is... Voice and Villainy, I'll place it on the puzzle box. Why not? No, 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 no. Uh, I don't want to lose the puzzle box anyway. Um, I think... We'll just abandon the ceremony room and try to go find the key from these locations. I remember one of these has a uh, random set as a key on it. So hopefully, well, this is a two victory point location, but yeah, whatever. Uh, first action, move. Uh, use the track shoes to move uh, again. Zero. We'll move to the relic storage. Second action will move. Last action will move to the library. Yeah. Okay. Uh, while you are investigating the library, if you control the uh, relic key. Or the tablet key library gets minus three throughout, so or not. We don't have the key, so I think we need to go there next. But that is our whole turn. Enemy actions, this guy is here. Upkeep, we draw a card. Uh, breaking and entering actually helps us a lot. Yeah, nice. And we gain one resource, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a Doom, 3 of 10, and count card is uh, Unhallowed Land, test uh, utility 5, I'll just test it. It is uh, 0, so we pass, so nothing happens. Okay, uh, we'll investigate here using the breaking and entering. We had our agility, so we are investigating 8 versus 6. Elder sign, we'll grab this clue, so that is a victory publication. Second action, we'll move. And uh, we'll use the track shoes to move again. Plus 1, uh, so we have the Elder Thing token, we can move into the vault. Ugh. Four shroud, one clue. After the vault is revealed, place one random and set aside key on it, so we get the last key here. We only now need to get that clue. That is also a victory point location. Okay, uh, last action. Uh, let's try to investigate four versus four. A minus three. I'll discard this to draw again. Minus one, no luck. So that was a shame. We need to get some help next turn. Well, this guy moves here. Upkeep. Draw lockpicks. 
again one resource so next turn def definitely will be able to uh, get that last clue and get that uh, token yeah so we are not resigning so we don't drop clues or anything like that so yeah that is the turn enemy phase done so that is that turn uh, let's go to the next turn We'll add a Doom, 4 of 10, Encounter card is, and Acolyte will just spawn it somewhere. No matter where. Okay, first action. Spend 3 resources to play Lockpix. Second action. Use Lockpix to investigate. Uh, I'm investigating 8 versus 4. Minus 1, we grab the clue, we grab the last key, and we are able to advance. So, we use the keys, uh, otherwise resolution 2. Okay, so resolution 2. Mm. In your campaign log record, the investigator discovers how to open the puzzle box. Any one investigator may choose to add the puzzle box story asset to his or her deck. This card does not count towards the investigator's deck size. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the display and skip internal tree the inner circle, then proceed directly to scenario 6 uh, Union and Disillusion. So, Let's see, we got uh, one, two, uh, three, we got three experience. Uh, we could have gotten five if we had time to get the ceremony room. Uh, we actually could have just now not, not advance and move there and uh, empty that room in a couple of turns. We had plenty of time, but I won't risk it. Uh, so, yeah, that was the uh, return to the uh, for the greater good. Still, a pretty damn well made scenario. One of my favorites from this uh, campaign. Uh, we got uh, three experience, so now I have to really think because those um, really easy upgrades have been done. So, Maybe I'll try something more interesting for the last, uh, for the next scenario, so I'll upgrade something interesting. But we'll see in the next video what I will do with those experiences. So, hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.